Welcome back to Learning with Cases. In the previous modules, we talked about the benefits of using cases to study marketing principles and why we learn with cases. We went on to look at the three stages in the case method process, we reviewed the short and long cycle individual preparation, and we discussed how to develop the definition of success. In this module, we're going to take a closer look at how to define the critical issues facing the organization. The first step in defining critical issues is to conduct an environmental assessment and situational analysis. In conducting our situational analysis, we'll review our notes from our in-depth reading of the case to look for all of the external and internal events and trends that have a potential impact on the organization, and that will help us to craft our options and alternatives in solving for our definition of success. As we go through our detailed read of the case, we want to be aware of what's happening in the internal environment. We want to make note of our internal strengths and weak weaknesses and understand the trends from an internal perspective. In reviewing our internal capabilities and competencies, we'll pay particular attention to the details in the case surrounding our management, our current marketing programs and prowess by reviewing the four P's, our competencies with respect to manufacturing and research and development, our financial situation, and our current offerings. As we review our strengths and weaknesses, we want to answer the question, so what? What does this mean for our organization? What is the impact of our strengths and our weaknesses on our strategy going forward and our ability to achieve our definition of success? From here, we can begin to build our SWOT analysis, identifying the advantages that our organization has over our competitors. What are the things that we do better than anybody else in the marketplace? What are the things that our customers love about us? And what are the things that our competitors hate about us? We'll also identify the advantages our competitors have over us, the things that our customers love about our competitors, and the things our competitors love about us. As we build our SWOT analysis, identifying our strengths and weaknesses, it's useful to rank them to get a clearer understanding of the most important strengths and weaknesses of our organization. As we go through our detailed read of the case, we also want to be aware of what's happening in the external environment. What's happening and what are the trends in the political environment, the economic and sociocultural environment, the technological, natural and legal environments, and what's happening and what are the trends with our target markets? We'll want to conduct a Porter's Five Forces analysis of the industry to get a sense of the competitive nature of the industry and where we may have or where we may be able to develop a sustainable competitive advantage. Again, as we review the external environment, we want to answer the question, so what? What does this mean for our organization? What is the impact of these trends on our strategy going forward and our ability to achieve our definition of success? From here, we can continue to build our SWOT analysis, identifying the opportunities and threats in the external environment. What are the changes and trends in the environment that could have a potential positive impact on our organization? Conversely, what are the changes and trends in the environment that could have a potential negative impact on our organization? Again, it's helpful to rank opportunities and threats from biggest or most impact to smallest or least impact. This will help us to get a clearer understanding of the most important trends in the external environment, helping us to define the most critical issues and develop options or alternatives to help us achieve our definition of success. The next step in our analysis is to attempt to match our greatest strengths with our biggest opportunities. This helps us to identify and target opportunities that are a good fit with the strengths of the organization. We call these pairings critical opportunities. These critical opportunities should be exploited to help the company thrive and succeed. We continue the process by attempting to match our greatest weaknesses with the biggest threats in the external environment. These critical threats must be addressed or avoided in order for the organization to survive. We round off our SWOT analysis by identifying strategies and tactics to develop weaknesses in order to take advantage of opportunities and to utilize our strengths to contend with the threats that we face in the external marketing environment. In defining our critical issues, our focus must first 
be on exploiting the critical opportunities and addressing or avoiding the critical threats. In developing our critical issues, we format the critical issue statement using the structure, how to, so that. Our critical issue statement should describe how to solve the problem or take advantage of the opportunity so that we can achieve the following consequences or outcome. The critical issues flow from your situation analysis and for the purposes of our course the expectation is that you will develop three to five critical issues for each case. Be sure your critical issues reflect root causes and not symptoms and are solution neutral in that they don't identify specific courses of action to take. Continuing with the Cineplex Entertainment example from our previous tutorials, we might identify the following weaknesses and threats. In analyzing these weaknesses and threats, we might develop the following critical threats for Sarah and Cineplex to either address or avoid. Based on our in-depth analysis and reading of the case, we might also identify the following strengths and opportunities. In analyzing the strengths and opportunities, we might develop the following critical opportunities that we want to exploit in order to achieve our definition of success. So from our previous work, we've developed the following definition of success for Sarah and Cineplex Entertainment. Based on the analysis we've just completed, we might now develop the following three critical issue statements to help provide us direction in achieving this definition of success. With our definition of success now crafted and our critical issues defined, we're now ready to move on to developing alternative courses of action to address these critical issues and achieve our definition of success. We're also ready to develop the decision criteria on which we will evaluate each of our potential alternative courses of action. This concludes Module 4, Defining the Critical Issues. In upcoming tutorials, we'll take a closer look at developing alternatives and decision criteria and developing our recommendations and action plans.